What's up guys, we are here at the Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum in Williamsburg, Virginia. Over there is the 4D Theater. Currently purchased tickets to see the museum and got permission to take my camera inside and film. So, let's get inside and look at this. Whatever the hell's in here. You ready? Yep, yep. Yep, yep. You want it? Tickets. Museum. Oh, we got and then the oh, okay. 40, 40 theater. theater. And then on the inside, there's like a laser and a snake. I got to leave them. Okay. Okay, maybe now. We're gonna go ahead and watch it. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. So this was interactive. How you doing there, buddy? Alright guys, we just got done watching the 4D movies at the Ripley's Believe It or Not Theater. They had a snowman one. It was like a type of um, uh, roller coaster ride. They had the family one. It was like a monster ride. What else? The China one where you ride the dirt wall China. Um, what was the last one? The dinosaur. Oh yeah, the dinosaur one. That, that one. Snowman one was really awesome. It used all the effects that um, they have in the theater, I believe. The uh, Dino one, eh, it used a little bit of them. The, uh, which one? The monster one, it used quite a bit, except for one. And but then, the China had the really intense smell. Oh yeah, the China one did have a smell, which that one, we well, yeah, so, had everything from lightning, snow, and the water. Yeah. Either way you go, it's 30 minutes for all four of them. So, I mean, it's two shows, 15 minutes. Or, did I say that right? It's two. Well, it's advertised. Two of them are 30 minutes, and the next two are 30 minutes. But it really doesn't take that long. Is it advertised like that? Yes. Oh, well you can watch, well, if it's advertised like that, that's messed up because you can watch all four of them in 30 minutes. So we're going to go inside and look at the museum now. Let's go. Thank you. Ooh. Hey, look. We can get our fortune told by our fortune teller. Want to do it? Wild here. Jump out the 
mother and child. This is crazy. In See this? Oh, yeah, a match sticks. That doesn't surprise me. That's pretty snazzy. That doesn't surprise you. That's crazy as shit. That is wild. Crap, I don't have my lens that filters out the glare. Got it. To see Ripley's collection of oddities and curiosities. One of the many reasons for the popularity of Ripley's Whoa. collections, which has sustained over these so many years, is the tallest years, man who ever lived. Unusual people, not just in faraway places, crazy. but right here at home. Let me introduce my happy family. This is my wife, Ripley. Ripley. Age 22, and size 25. Size 37, eight and shoe, and weighed 440 pounds, eight, 11 tall. That's fucking hot. Oh, there's a video of him right there. In 1939, at the age of 21, he was more than 8 feet 8 inches tall and weighed 491 pounds. That's crazy. Quiet, shy, sensitive to his size, Robert Wadlow was hesitant about appearing in public. Yeah, this film pins. was made to promote the company that manufactured his shoes, size 37 double A. For him, a visit to New York was as much an ordeal as an outing. Yet, cameraman lost no opportunity to accentuate his height. Even New York's Governor Al Smith participated in sight gags. Atop the Empire State Building, the tallest building in the world, is the Robert Wadlow. To this day, the tallest man in modern history. Mm -hmm. Something for Iron Man. This is car parts, Iron Man. Damn, damn, there's brick pads. That's Nell. Oh shit. That's our um, Nell's. What is Nell Art Gorilla? Babe, you see this gorilla? Did you see this gorilla? Made out of nails. That's what crazy. is it made out of? Nails. That's crazy. This is Jay Carson.
things I've collected. It hasn't been easy. My day, a trip from New York to the heart of China, took months. You know, my travel took me to hundreds of countries. Some of them no longer exist. And everywhere I went, I looked for the far, the unbelievable. I've met women with necks 15 inches long, a man with a horn growing from the top of his head. But I've uncovered wonderful works of art created from the most unlikely materials. Many of these are on display in this show. So please come in, have a look around, and then ask yourself if you believe it or not.
in our Christian humanity and help them go and help them do it. One more, last piece on the biggest matter of the world and the biggest world in the world is my presidential time. I will come to the end of the day. I will be in the end of the day. And I'm going to walk first and forget it. You are now a patient. I will start to have now. You're just going to come out of your city. I feel like you're going to come out of your city. Penny machine. <laughs> what the hell? I didn't pick the hair. Welcome, race fans, to the Speedway 500. Hey, babe. You're about to begin. The pace car is coming off the track. Green flag, green flag, we are racing. Looks like we have a very competitive field out there today. <laughs> Picture. I'm just done. Surrounded by mesmerized fans, Kajendra was then whisked away in limousine comfort. But Kajendra was seldom alone. Cameras and fans magically appeared at Engine 23, where New York's firefighters greeted Kajendra with open arms, and they gave him rule of the hose, the bell, even the truck. His appearance in Central Park for a horse-drawn buggy ride attracted hundreds of passers-by, and a whole lot of cameras too. 
initially very afraid of the horses that towered over him. He finally made friends with his steed, and he kind of risked his life and his limb to feed this hungry animal. He's outgoing, he's gregarious, he's ever eager to make friends. That's right, the appearance of Kajendra Magar, the world's smallest man, even in New York City, is a really big deal. Believe it or not. Produces some real delicacies, 
It's always a good idea to wrap it carefully. First of all, it looks attractive. And secondly, it keeps this point. Only 50 cents to play. But I've been spending all my quarters on pennies. I don't know what the hell is going on in the other room, but good God. Got a lot of neat little shit in here. Part of the snazzy. Ready, set, go! Oh, that's neat shit. Oh, 
chewed gum sculpture. That isn't good enough to eat. Here. Tobacco. We have tickets for it. Yep. What do we have tickets for? I'm considering with the package. Shit, what the hell is that? Just watch the thing, it shows you what to do. Do we get to pick a station? through the game playing it and my damn thing wasn't recording. But it's all good. What the hell is this thing? So believe it or not, in this world is a picture of rubber. Take a picture of you over there in the uh Time lapse it by spinning the little thingy. Now you can go forward. 
You can go backwards. Forwards. Backwards. More pictures. The thing that was killing me is this dog one in here. Just spin it. Plant a little seed and nature grows. You don't see the donkey? Nope. Go over there and look at it. Nope. Look in the mirror. Oh, shit. <gasps> Hey. Mom. Look. Bullshit. <laughs> That's in front of the building. It recorded us. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm right there filming. Right, go to the gorilla. I wonder if it has me on here. Yep, there I am. Look, 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 look. <laughs> oh, there I am on camera. Oh, that's funny as shit. Slow mo. Woo. I always wanted to rewind my life. Look. <laughs> oh, that's funny as shit. That's crazy. I was sitting here like, what the fuck? <laughs> That's too funny. Where the hell am I at again? I'm just like filming everything. <laughs> uh, well, now I'm taking pictures. <laughs> Put my phone away. You're all in there by yourself. I was going by <laughs> Anybody else come in? No, only us. That's crazy. That's pretty wild. Oh, that's funny as shit. Alrighty. Anyways, what are we doing this uh, laser thing? How are you supposed to go? Oh. I see it's a magnet thing. Huh? Take photos. Is it free? Yeah, it is. But it's $5. It's not worth it. Okay, come on. Mm -hmm.
Yo, man, I'm told shit. Those cracker lackeys. Well, fun too. <laughs> Two players or one player? Oh, maze, maximum two. I think maze is not armed. Please exit. What? Maze is not armed. Please exit. Oops. Oh, shit. We gotta, like... You want to? Sure. Okay. What, I gotta go by myself? What do I do now? Laser maze or? Or you can bust them. You can bust all the lasers or you can try to get through the lasers. <laughs> get you through the lasers? You want to get through them or bust them? I'm going to do the busting one. Let's go through them. I'll try through them. One player. Laser maze challenge. Easy? Pick a level. Uh, sure. Easy. Sort of maze. Oh shit. Good for you. It's okay. Don't hold your hand on the red hands here. Trying to get back to the scanner thing. Don't hold your hand on the red hand. You escaped the vault. I knew you had it in you. Yeah. How do I wear your ass out? Whew. Shit. How do I wear I don't wear y'all right there. That shit's crazy. I'd hate to see that shit expert or hard. That's why I went with easy. Okay. Okay. What are you doing? You gonna smash him? One player. Bean Buster, enter the maze. Bean Buster. Start fucking beans. You're already done. The key. <laughs> Money. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. <coughs> that was pretty good.
Wait, look at that. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> I doubt it'll do on camera. Count the number of F's in the following sentence. One, two, three. Three. Oh, four. Hang on. How many three? Wrong. There are six. No joke. Go ahead and read it again. The reason that... I'm not going to use the question. Oh, okay. Shit, there is a wow. One, two. Now I seen I seen one, two, or was it? Uh three. Maybe it was four, five, seven. Wow. Alrighty. Think of a number. Double it, add ten, divide it, subtract it, whatever, blah, 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 blah. I won't do that right now. Are the steps upside down or right side up? You be the judge. How many equal triangles? I'll let this sit here for a couple seconds. Or you can pause the video and do it yourself. I'll lift the flap for the answer. There are 20 triangles in this star. Hmm. It must be the men's. Because there's a woman's. And there's a penguin. Skill over ski. There's so much stuff in this museum. This is kind of funny here. It's a two-sided mirror. But nobody's here. I would love to film them doing some weird stuff. What are you laughing at? <laughs> you just stand there and hold the thing. What? Just literally stand here and just hold it. And kind of just look around for a good minute and tell me you don't do a thought. Hold on. 
Yeah, so. <laughs> you're gonna blow the bus ass. <laughs> okay. That was weird as shit at the end there. Why the hell did it didn't... Why is it not doing it to me? This though, this thing wobble back and forth. Holy shit! Hey, did you do this? Oh God! Even here. No. I right, said, so you do this here. <laughs> mentioned they have articles in the bathrooms too. Exit here. Yeah, but I'll be looking at something. Now we just go back. <coughs> You've never been in one of these? I've been in the glass one, not no damn metal one. Let me guess it don't spin back the other way. Does it? Daylight. Shit. Oh. Wow. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the Ripley's, believe it or not, museum in Williamsburg, Virginia. That last part was too much damn fun. I might make a video on it by itself because that shit was just too funny. It didn't hit me at first, but then it got my ass. Did you like it? Yeah. You did? Yeah, you was laughing your ass off. At that the, was the best part. <laughs> at the, at the tail end of it. I'm honestly bored with the whole thing. What? But that made it awesome. I mean, <laughs> just that one piece was <laughs> worth it. 
But I mean, they have some interesting stuff in there. So I mean, just go check it out if you all are in Williamsburg, Virginia. The 4D theater is pretty cool too. Let me flip this around. Get a full shot of it. <clears throat> Alright, now we gotta get to the...